Jai Shri Ram. This is the second track. We are discussing words describing human character and behavior. Now, I want you to take a screenshot and then I'll proceed. Okay. Now, let's look at the first column. Debilitated. Weakened. Doddering. Tottering means unsteady. A doddering gait. Tottering gait. Either an old man or could be a drunkard. A feat means useless. A feat means like a spent force, like a discharged battery. Eh? Well, <laughs> I am reminded of the old Prime Minister, Mr. Sun Mohan Ming or whatever. That is a spoonerism, okay? S, it is not there in the list, okay, write down. S-P-O-O-N-E-R-I-S-M. A spoonerism means an accidental transposition of first letters causing a comical effect. For example... I said, Sun Sohan Singh, or, oh, well, that is Manmohan Singh, Ganya Soundi, Gahul Randi. Now you know what is a spoonerism. Well, of course, I deliberately did it. So, spoonerism is defined as an accidental transposition. A lecturer was telling the student, a history lecturer was, was you know, uh, reprimanding a student for missing a class. He said, You hissed my mystery lecture. Actually, he was trying to say, you missed my history lecture. I came by the down train. Instead of saying that, somebody said, I came by the town drain. And a pastor said, may sword rest his goal. Oh, actually he wanted to say, may God rest his soul. So these are called spoonerisms. Anyway, a feat means useless, like a discharged battery, totally useless fellow. Uh, spent force, <laughs> totally sterile, good for nothing. That's a nice word. An effete uh, kind of person, effete personality, totally effete. Neurotic, obsessive, uh, obsessive compulsive personality disorder. Neurotics are people who will nag you, keep on. They will belabor you. Belabor, B-E-L-A-B-O-R. Belabor means to explain something to a ridiculous length. So neurotics are... Uh, actually, every great achiever is a neurotic. If you are a neurotic, don't worry. You channelize your energy into something useful. I am a full-blown neurotic, by the way. I, 24 hours, I am thinking about Bhagavad Gita, Ramayana, uh, Mahabharata and how to, you know, uh, charge up, how to pump up, <laughs> reboot Hinduism. Nothing else. I don't have any friends. In fact, if anybody wants to talk to me, unless they talk on these topics, in fact, I have put a poster in my room, outside my room, in the foyer. That is, no prajalpa allowed. Prajalpa means gossip. Either you talk of talk about Rama, Krishna or Dharma, otherwise get lost. So neurotics are people who are obsessed, who suffer from this obsessive compulsive personality disorder, OCPD, which means they will keep doing the same thing, uh, keep saying the same things and they can be quite a pain. But let me tell you, Virat Kohli is a neurotic. That's why he's a great batsman. Albert Einstein was a neurotic. All neurotics have this tremendous capacity to be world champions at something only when they channelize. They sublimate their energy, channelize it into something worthwhile. Recreant, cowardly, pirigitanamo, darpok, dastardly. You look at that word dastardly. Dastardly means not only cowardly but very mean. You know, very mean. Uh, beating somebody who is very weak or you know exploiting some very poor person who is powerless uh, that's a very dastardly act uh, you know all kinds of people are there all kinds of great religious leaders uh, who uh, sexually exploited children uh, I don't want to name them uh, just imagine a 60 year old man marrying a 6 year old girl and uh, consummating the marriage at uh, 9 years when that girl is 9 years that's dastardly Dastardly means uh, very base, very vulgar, very mean, very vile and cowardly. Really disgusting, wretched behavior. Apostate. Recreant also means a person who abandons a cause. Uh, so, so if there is somebody in our group and we are fighting, uh, we, are, we are undertaking a revolution, suddenly he abandons us. So apostate means one who abandons a cause or it also means one who abandons a religion. In Christianity and Islam, Apostates means one who has given up Christianity or Islam and uh, he left. Either may, he may have converted to something other, 
some other religion or maybe he has become just a, an atheist. But in Christianity and Islam, the punishment for apostasy, that is the noun. Apostate is also a noun. It means the person. A-P-O-S-T-A-S-Y. Apostasy means one who apostasy is the act of giving up one's religion. So the Bible and the Holy Quran clearly say that the punishment for apostasy is death. In Hinduism, we don't have any such concept at all. Short-winded, very low stamina, starts gasping, gasping for breath. Eh? Uh, very low stamina. Short-winded can also mean succinct, very brief. Long-winded, exactly opposite. Very long-winded means, you know, if you have seen Kenyan athletes who win all the long-distance running. Eh? Somebody said, you see, on a book, this might sound a little derogatory, but I have to say this. In any book, you know, on the back side, you will find the uh, barcode. Somebody described a barcode as a Kenyan family photograph. <laughs> they are so thin, so lean, and they have huge lung power. So they are long-winded. Long-winded athletes from Kenya. Eh? So they win all the marathon, 10,000 kilometers, I don't know what, 10,000 meters or whatever. See, they, they win all the long, uh, long races. So that is long-winded. Long-winded speaker means one who talks a lot, a lot of gas. He's a big gas bag. Skittish, restive, restless, restless, a skittish horse. So restive means restless. Restive, 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 and he edus tunad in the country, restless ga. Allah edus to restless ga poyadu. Snivelling. Snivelling is whining. You know, some people cry, that is called snivelling or whining. Making a nasal sound. Whining actually, whinny is the neigh of a horse. N e i g h. Horses make a sound uh, which is like this. <coughs> That's called a whinny. W h i n n y. So whining. <coughs> so whining and snivelling means uh, crying in a nasal tone, usually seen by babies and some women also do that. Simpering. Uh, silly laughter. <laughs> you know, simpering like a simian. Simeon is an adjective for a monkey. Simpering means silly laughter, yeah, giggling and all that. Squeamish, easily upset. Peevish, I wrote that there. Peevish means petty-minded and irritable. Querulous means quarrelsome. Fractious means disorderly, unruly. Spiteful, spiteful means, you know, venting your venom uh, and uh, saying nasty things and uh, very malicious means uh, full of malice, wishing harm. Squeamish means easily upset, squeamish about violence, squeamish about, uh, well, sex in movies, uh, very easily upset. So, uh, squeamish is synonymous with uh, uh, nauseous, uh, easily nauseated. Wimpy, wimpy means a weak-willed character who is a pushover, who is a milk toast. M-I-L-Q-U-E-T-O-A-S-T. Uh, wimpy is a character, if you see Popeye comics, there is one guy who goes on eating hamburgers. He has no willpower. He cannot stop himself. So Wimpy is a person who is weak-willed and he is a pushover and he can be kicked around like our old PM, uh, that uh, Sun Mohan Singh or Sun Mohan Ming. Vertiginous, dizzy, dizzy, uh, uh, syncope, S-Y-N-C-O-P-A, syncope means fainting. Vertiginous means uh, people who have height, uh, a fear of heights, you know, acrophobia. Vertiginous is feeling dizzy, head is spinning. Fiesty, a fiesty personality, full of energy, animated, brave. Fiesty can also mean touchy. Fiesty can be used in a positive sense and also in a negative sense. Footloose, very liberal, very casual, no holds barred, it doesn't bother about anything. So, footloose, footloose and totally free. Galvanic, galvanic means. Uh, energizing, uh, enthusing everybody. High strung. If somebody is high strung, that means they are very, very nervous and they are uptight and they are skittish and these are people who can suddenly lose their temper, their nerves are always frayed. These are people whom you have to handle very carefully. They can throw tantrums. So high strung, people who are high strung are very difficult to handle. Mm, they will become melodramatic, drama queens. Uh, uh, it is like walking on eggshells. You have to be very careful with such people who are very high strung. 
lissom lissom means very supple like an athlete very limba flexible athletic body uparus uparus means uh, sometime something an act that requires a lot of labor uh, drudgery uh, drudgery d r u d g e r y drudgery means you know a donkey's uh, work back breaking labor diligent is a positive word diligent means working very hard grueling work arduous journey uparus peripatetic walking a peripatetic teacher your lecturer could be walking up and down pacing up and down while delivering a talk a peripatetic uh, sadhu mendicant m e n d i c a n t mendicant means uh, parivrajaka rishis and sadhus in hindu in hinduism you have people like uh, adi shankaracharya ramanujacharya they were all uh, parivrajakas that is a sanskrit word which means peripatetic that means they walk they go on a walk and uh, spread the message of uh, sanatana dharma and dharma actually so that's very pathetic sassy sassy means very jaunty and fashionable it can also mean very rude impudent means rude sylph like sylph like swelled means very slender figure willowy you know, describing a model perhaps hmm? super model benumbed that means stunned and stupefied and amazed and astonished uh, gobsmacked uh, speechless uh, Uh, dumbfounded you're not able to say anything you're benumbed blaze blaze means loss of interest due to over exposure nonchalant means carefree carefree nonchalant attitude bindas by the way bindas is also a word that has entered the english dictionary dilatory taking too much time dilatory tactics in a meeting to dilate means to expand the opposite is constrict haggard the very haggard expression a haggard face means one uh, one whose face is very lean and uh, emaciated means lean gaunt means lean distraught means upset haggard means careworn very upset and tired uh, rattled hoary hoary means white with age uh, hoary uh, also means something that's very ancient it can literally mean a man's face whose hair is all gray and white so gray hoary face jaded jaded also means loss of interest and jaded means blaze weary dulled by surfeit loss of interest due to excess tardy lazy never on time so you see this recording is taking quite a long time but obviously uh, these are all wonderful words which will improve your vocabulary and you will be able to impress people who are very learned and educated so make every effort to learn these words and use them wherever necessary listen to them a couple of times get yourself a new uh, notebook uh, diary in which you keep writing sentences or probably try your hand at poetry you never know you could be a good poet maybe within a year from now you will become a poet use these words otherwise you'll forget them so jaded is a very useful word jaded means loss of interest due to excess so jaded can also mean uh, very apathetic cynical cynical who's a cynic c y n i c cynic means one who is deeply distrustful and deeply suspicious does not respect anybody and always suspicious so jaded can also mean cynical uh, because of experience all bad experiences so jaded means you know people who are very callous and apathetic and cynical and having a negative outlook because of all the bad experiences that they have so please be very careful with this word this word jaded appeared several times in the gre test so a jaded expression means you know loss of interest due to over exposure over exposure dulled by surfeit surfeit means excess so like a, you know if you look into the eyes of a, an american teenager by the time they are 18 19 they have had uh, all kinds of pleasures i don't want to name them so they look bored with life that's why they come to india in search of uh, adhyatma in search of wisdom vedanta <laughs> and all that so uh, tardy is very late never very late never on time beatific or beatific beatific smile means blissful beatify is actually a christian ritual where uh, people are conferred sainthood canonization mother teresa was canonized Uh, she was conferred sainthood well uh, so these saints are actually people mother teresa actually was responsible for the death of 
uh, lakhs of innocent people. She did not give them painkillers. You must watch the movie documentary Hell's Angel. She was an angel from hell. Hell's Angel by Christopher Hitchens. And Christopher Hitchens also wrote a book, The Missionary Position. So Mother Teresa never deserved the Bharat Ratna and also the Nobel Peace Prize because she was a Christian fanatic. She took money from the gangsters, drug lords, dictators. And when she fell sick, she got admitted into the best hospitals in the world. But to people suffering from cancer, they never gave any painkillers or morphine. They used discarded needles and you know, all kinds of AIDS patients were there. So just imagine if you are reusing needles without sterilizing them, they are actually spreading AIDS and many people died horrible deaths. In fact, incidentally, I am reminded of a situation. I believe Mother Teresa approached a, a person who was in terrible pain. He was suffering from some terminal cancer and she told him, suffering because she believed suffering is beautiful but when she had pain she went into the best hospitals in the world so she i believe told that person jesus is kissing you that man heard it and i believe the that man retorted he said please tell jesus to stop kissing me <laughs> so beatific smile means blissful so now let's get into the second column bemused Bemused means confused. Drawl. Drawl drama. Drawl means amusing, funny. Gamesome, frolicsome, jumping around. You know, like a child who is very happy because they are taking him to the park or who is now getting a chance to play some games. Gamesome means frolicking, uh, capering, prancing around to caper, jump around. Impish. Imp means, you know, small devil. Impish smile, devilish smile. Of course, not in a negative sense, mischievous, lilting voice, like Lata Mangeshkar had a lilting voice. That means very mellifluous, very sweet, puckish humor. Mischievous, mischievous, puckish means mischievous and naughty, mischievous sense of humor. Starry-eyed, it's a negative word. Starry-eyed means impressionable, make a note. I-M-P-R-E-S-S-I-O-N-A-B-L-E. Starry-eyed means a person who gets easily carried away. Wannabes, you know. Wannabe rock star, wannabe film star, W-A-N-N-A-B. One who is very aspiring to be one, but he doesn't have the talent. Starry-eyed means naive. One who gets easily carried away. By the way, naive is a very important word with three meanings, all three negative. Naive and its synonym is ingenuous. I-N-G-E-N-U-O-U-S. Naive actually has two dots on the eye. That is called a diaresis. D-I-A-R-E-S-I-S. Which is a punctuation mark in English which says that, you know, the adjacent vowels have to be independently pronounced. That means naive should be pronounced in naive, not naive. You should not fuse that. There is no elision. Elision means fusing or omitting. You should not elide, E-L-I-D-E. Elide means omit or fuse. So it has to be naive. That is diaresis. Naive and ingenuous are two words which are exact synonyms with three meanings. First meaning is, very unsophistic unsophisticated very boorish and crude and rude and uncultured the second meaning is gullible easily believing anything that is starry eyed impressionable and starry eyed and gullible and naive mean a person who gets carried away quickly easily believes anything and everything and third meaning of naive and ingenuous is uh, childlike simplicity childlike in fact in that sense it means very straightforward but not tactful you know a child can be easily misled tactless sort of waggish waggish means mischievous waggish humor a wag means a person who has a mischievous sense of humor beleaguered feeling harassed being attacked from all sides chagrin irritated uh, very anxious and irritated and feeling even humiliated that's a complex word chagrin embittered means very angry because of all the past failures or backstabbings that one has experienced in life. So resentful, rancorous, bitter and always angry, free floating anger, itching to pick up fights with everybody. Uh, there are some people who are so embittered, they wear a frown on their face and always angry and very eager to pick up fights. Doleful, sad. A doleful look, doleful song, sad. Forlorn, abandoned abandoned and sad and lonely poignant here the g is silent poignant again a very important word for gre students poignant means emotionally moving 
heart rending heart wrenching something that moves you poignant can also mean offensive extremely offensive wo be gone feeling very sad these are all synonyms doleful frazzled frazzled means nervous and tense and angry and irritable frayed means the same thing frayed if a cloth has a frayed edge that means the edges are shredded worn out edgy if you are feeling edgy that means you are nervous and irritable effusive effusive means pouring forth talking a lot very voluble not continuously speaking or you know uh, indulging in all kinds of emotional uh, outbursts also irrepressible cannot be stopped irrepressible means unstoppable rambunctious unruly a rambunctious crowd seething there's a lot of anger seething in the average hindu because of 70 years of injustice we hindus are living like third class citizens in this country which which is which should be hindu rashtra huh? why was pakistan created for on the name of religion ambedkar wanted all muslims to be sent away but we did not and now we are suffering seething means lot of anger which is simmering below the surface in ferment ferment means turmoil chaotic huh? uh, confusion and anger Uh, in a state of uthal puthal temperamental means moody erratic temperamental driving is bad erratic but temperament is not a negative word temperamental is a negative word temperament means your habitual mood you know sattvic temperament tamasic temperament rajasic temperament these are three temperaments krishna talks about in the bhagavad gita right so temperament is a neutral word but temperamental negative vehement with strong feeling strong feeling gingerly walking carefully cautiously superannuated retired workman like that means highly skilled apoplectic very angry extremely angry ballistic pixelated eccentric prankish like a crackpot very eccentric a pixelated can also mean besotted sort means a drunkard besotted means totally pagal totally gone mad sort of Uh, infatuated ravening ravening means predacious rapacious very hungry surreal like a dream phantasmagoric like a dream temerarious daredevil temerity means uh, shameless boldness effrontery temerarious means like a daredevil wacky weird gentle very courtly gentle is a negative word means all kinds of excesses you know in behavior too many niceties and all that ladida <laughs> you know high society ladies indulging in all kinds of uh, you know rules of decorum and propriety which sound very very odd actually courtly courtly is actually the kind of behavior you see in the presence of a king or aristocrats now we are coming to the third column it's already 24 minutes okay pietistic pietistic means you know there are some people who are too religious sentimental excessively religious obtrusively religious they are a real pain in the neck so that's an extremely negative word describing a person who is extremely religious punctilious very fussy finicky persnickety meticulous a person who is very fussy very difficult to please and obsessed about punctuality and neatness and exactness well it can be used in a positive sense fastidious meticulous or all positive words but punctilious can be used in a negative sense too snooty snobbish snobs are people who are very status conscious imitate people who are richer than them and look down on others fashion snobs many young people are fashion snobs they wear the latest brands and look down on others who don't wear the latest brands so snooty behavior is very annoying the snobs haughty means arrogant stuffy very stuffy means a drama or movie which is dreary stodgy boring dull victorian values queen victoria her husband albert was known to be a womanizer so she made it compulsory for all english women to wear half a dozen frocks cover their face because the slightest sight of a female skin that fellow used to go out of control victorian me values means prudish prude means highly conservative and easily shocked by matters pertaining to sex these are people who will say oh chi 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 bad boy chi don't talk about such nasty things victorian values means extremely conservative prude 
overly conservative and easily shocked by matters pertaining to sex or violence so we hindus were never victorian we discuss sex also openly kama sutra is produced in india and these bloody victorian values have ruined us but on one hand bullyhood is promoting the raunch culture long live the raunch culture r a u n c h raunch raunchy raunchy means very vulgar so prudish prudery uh, prudes are people who will say no no prudes are people who use euphemisms also for sex education the euphemism is abc's of life for sex education another euphemism is birds and bees and if you don't know this euphemism you will be wondering is it a botany or zoology class no it's about sex education so victorian values and prudes uh, prudes are people who use lot of euphemisms right the dysphemism is the exact opposite which we laugh <laughs> when somebody dies you say he passed away that's a euphem- euphemism but the dysphemism is he kicked the bucket puritanical means people who are extremely pious spiritistic puritans atavistic means resembling primitives uh, suppose a person starts behaving like an idiot like a caveman and you know some people of some religions are totally atavistic not only mentally physically also uh, they don't have horns and tails but they are worse than animals so atavistic means resembling primitives bibulous means uh, given to drinking a lot alcoholic cadish behavior cad means a disgusting fellow but no more as a rascal as scoundrel unscrupulous means dishonest utre utre means bizarre gonzo weird cadish behavior unscrupulous wanton we discussed this earlier <coughs> wanton means unjustified wanton also means lusty wanton women wanton men wanton company that means immoral sexually immoral silver tongued able to convey anything very nicely sweetly a good speaker a master of rhetoric woozy Woozy means unsteady, giddy, uh, likely to f- faint. Bourgeois, middle class. Bourgeois uh, mentality. Bourgeois mentality or middle class mentality means running after degrees uh, and not taking any risk in life. So please don't develop any bourgeois mentality. So bourgeois uh, was a word you know Karl Marx used, uh, but today the word bourgeois, uh, bourgeois mentality has a negative meaning it means middle class mentality remember middle class mentality means people who are running after degrees bill gates bill gates was a dropout hmm? and uh, zuckerberg was a dropout steve jobs was a dropout right so you don't bother about degrees learn the trade and uh, taking risk if you gamble then you are a gambler don't take too much risk calculated risk take always calculated risks but bourgeois mentality means not taking any risk they want government jobs that's why you know young people are preparing for civils why do you want to become an is officer i is officer that's a worst kind of job you love to salute the worst kind of people who end up becoming politicians and then you got to salute them i really pity the real brains of india is going for these bourgeois jobs actually dreary means boring humdrum means the same thing boring dull nothing original harem scaram all reckless hot headed pell mell totally you know chaotic disorderly la di da we just discussed that gentle eh? excessive you know sophistication and <laughs> lot of stupid decorum picayune of very little value sing song very boring monotonous song or sing song tone means monotonous no variation sophistic sophistic means convincing but false sophistical sophist means a person who can convince anybody Uh, with all kinds of false logic so the abrahamic cults in my opinion are totally sophistic hmm? if you don't uh, ask any questions you will end up believing all the nonsense that they'll tell you fulsome is a negative word fulsome means too much praise too much praise chamchagiri smarmi alia jena sanctuous offensively flattering hang dog expression feeling very depressed dejected disconsolate impressionable we just discussed naive impressionable means easily getting impressed uh, syrupy that means very cloyingly sweet uh, sweet talker who will mislead you bumptious very rude and arrogant and boastful character civic minded very polite hunky dory how is everything hunky dory that means doing very well jaundice means prejudiced prejudiced having a biased opinion about something or somebody fractious quarrelsome unruly disorderly chaotic seditious 
betraying the country treason treasonous nihilistic nihilism means believing that everything has to be destroyed nihilism basically means life is meaningless uh, values and morals are purposeless everything has to be destroyed so this kind of nihilistic attitude is dangerous snide remark snide means derogatory pejorative insulting sarcastic humiliating snotting very rude subversive secretly causing damage virulent extremely toxic there are many politicians today in our country and many religious leaders of those desert cults who are spewing venom against hinduism eh? virulent means very toxic very poisonous oh well i think i did a great job so now there are so many words to learn i had to speak so rapidly you will have to use some you will have to slow it down so that you listen to it please listen to it own this vocabulary start using them you will be able to impress the best minds in the world you will become a good speaker these are words that describe not only human behavior in fact situations can also be described hmm? mostly human be- human behavior anyway so this is the second track i hope you will make good use of it jai shri ram